365 days of horsemanship, day 233. So today, today was an okay day. I wouldn't say it was as good as yesterday um, because I think having the whole day in front of me um, as my own was quite overwhelming. Um, the to-do list this morning felt really overwhelming and I think when it's my own day and I'm not like, sometimes it's easier when I'm squeezing everything in because I can justify saying, well, I don't have time for that and I don't have time for that and I don't have time for that. And I'm going to prioritize this, this and this. Whereas when all of the things, the things that I have said that I want to do, me having to decide my own priorities for myself, I find much harder. Um, and like theoretically, I could have been here, you know, for three or four hours today. And so then when I'm not, I really get on top of myself. But actually, I also need to like just be sustainable and remember that it's a marathon, not a sprint. And I can't achieve everything every single day. Um, actually, it's about, you know, consistency um, and enjoyment. It's about enjoyment. You know, I do this for fun, not to punish myself all the time, not to make myself do things for some like never ending end goal. Um, so I came up today uh, and I came to see Lawrence and halted him, which went actually quite nicely. Um, today I did uh, push through the bit of resistance because I wanted to get him up and get him in the arena and move him around. And, you know, it was OK. There wasn't really that much resistance. I felt good about it. Got him in the arena, took his rug off, gave him a scratch. Um, and we walked around for a bit, but unfortunately then it started raining. Um, and I definitely think I could have been in there with him for half an hour and we could have had a fun session together. Um, but then the rain came along. Um, so I brought him up and I wanted to have a quick look at his feet to see how his thrush is doing. Because he's been struggling with his thrush recently. And it's not going great, if I'm honest with you. It is super wet and super muddy. And I would say we're doing better overall than previous years, but I don't think things are really improving. Um, definitely things are the same as they were a week ago, um, or two weeks ago, a week and a half ago when we started treating his thrush. Um, and it's just difficult when they live out all the time because really what he needs is to have dry, clean feet for like a week. And when you live out, that's just really like, I mean, impossible. Um, so I think we're going to upgrade the situation. Um, I'm maybe going to try, um, some poultice type boots on him. Um, I'm not going to poultice him, but I have some like sort of boots that, um, I would usually use over a poultice that I'm going to try him in, um, with some sort of like treatmenty style creams and powders and stuff. Not really sure what I'm going to use yet. Um, just to see if I can dry the feet out for the next week. The trouble is, you know, then you take it off and you're back to where you were before. So it's like forever and ever. Um, so yeah, it's just one of those things, I guess. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Do our best, which is all we can do. Um, we're just coming into the wet season now, unfortunately. Um, yeah. So that is what it is, really. Um, but that was a struggle because then I'd seen his feet and then obviously now I've got to do his feet and what we're doing at the moment, which was working quite well when it wasn't this wet, which was, um, packing the sort of, cause he gets it like in the solstice of his frog in the like middle bit. So what I've been doing is packing that with, um, a cotton wool bud soaked in, uh, like a silver cream. Um, for antibacterial, antifungal, etc. Um, and then um, packing on top the hoof stuff, um, which is a little bit more like, um, it's kind of like paper mache, um, but with cotton wool. Um, and that normally works really well. And when it's not this wet, that stays in there quite nicely for two or three days. And then we change it out um, and just continue to do that. And that kind of protects it really from the elements. Um and works really well but the problem is is when it gets this muddy um it just does not it soaks in you know it comes out super fast it's just not the suction from the mud and the water is just too much um and it's not really working out so we need to up the ante a little bit i think um but for now i've done what i've been doing um all four of his feet needed treating and he hates it and I get it, you know, I get it. I would hate someone poking around in my foot. If I've got a hole in the middle of my foot and someone's going to clean it out 
with some water and you know some soap and then like push things into it cotton wool <laughs> you know really hard as hard as they can to get it in there i'm gonna be pretty upset about that too um and so i felt definitely like i was spending my relationship allowance definitely um yeah the whole experience it's like oh one foot at a time and then he doesn't want it up and then that's a fight and so and but do you know what though actually it was difficult it was difficult it was difficult my patience is is i mean huge compared to how it used to be um i used to have real um trouble being patient um and i used to get really frustrated um and that's definitely much better now um So that, it was going fine, you know, one foot at a time. Um, and then, and I had to tie him after the front two because then he was really fidgety, he's upset, he wants to leave. Um, but he's still keeping it together. You know, we're both still keeping it together. Like, he's not really getting stressed out yet. He's just, like, a little bit frustrated. So I tie him, which I didn't really want to do because that definitely increases the stress level. But I just knew that I was just going to not be able to clean it and then put the stuff in and then do all this, 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 this. So, um, so I tied him and I was able to do the other two and that actually went well. Actually, it was, it wasn't, it felt like we were in the past. It's always felt like a battle. Like I'm on one side and he's on the other side and we're like adversarially against each other trying to get this done. Whereas this time it really felt like we were in this horrible situation together and we had to stick it out and he wasn't enjoying it and I wasn't enjoying it. And we were just, we were just doing it together. And there was one point where he really started to settle. He does find it easier with the back feet anyway. Um, and what I, I did all this, put all this stuff in the back foot and I put the, managed to put the foot down before he wanted to put it down, which is also really good. And I couldn't do that when I was on the grass um, because I didn't want the mud getting in, but I also didn't want to tie him um and but once he's tied that's cool because then he's on the you know then he's on the concrete so i put that in um i put the cotton wool in and i put the foot down and i went and just stood by him for a minute and i really felt like we were together and then he like looked around at me like come on like hurry up um and so i finished off and and actually it felt okay um i took him back to the field um, and we walked up to the herd together and even after that it was like i took the halter off and we walked around together for a bit and he took me to have a drink of water with him and we wandered around together and then he you know wanted to see his friend with me and that's where I left it because then he'd found his friend but even that just really warmed my heart because in the past um it's just never been like that um and it definitely felt nice to feel like I'd spent some money but I'd not spent all the money um and that we were still together um, and still doing things together and um yeah and it just felt good it just felt good all over good um so yeah I went to see Mia and this is where my whole day off really got on top of me because I immediately started getting on top of myself and the fact that I was actually really tired at this point like mentally emotionally physically like I've just been through this whole thing with Lawrence um doing his feet and I just didn't have anything left just didn't have anything left to give Mia um, and I'm getting a bit cold and I'm there with her and I'm like, okay. And I sort of went to put the halter on and then we, we went for a walk together and I could just feel that I was tired and my feeling timing was going to be off. And, um, so I grazed with her for a bit, um, and just left it there. And, you know, actually I think it was a good decision and I do actually feel good about it. I think, you know, having two horses is rough. Like when I'm so busy, actually the reality is I really only have time for one. Um, and I sort of squeezed two in, um, and I just shouldn't get on top of myself for that. Um, and tomorrow I will try to prioritize Mia, come to Mia first, which is normally how I do it these days is I'll do one and then the other. Um, cause then if I get sucked into something, um, it doesn't mean I'm always sucked into one horse and not the other. Um, so yeah. So it, overall it was a good day. I think it's really positive that Lawrence and I were able to do his feet um, and have that be such a, an okay experience. Um, and I'm hoping that putting these boots on will just help it to not be so difficult. 
um, as well. Um, because it's not his fault, you know. It is what it is. Um, so yeah. So overall, it was a good session.